presenting polycystic ovaries in all medical aspects of polycystic ovarian diseases. One of the most common endocrine disorders facing a gynecologist, it is a heterogeneous disorder characterized by disruption of the normal regular process leading to ovulation and presented to the clinicians in a very wide range of symptoms and signs, sometimes accidentally discovered by routine checkup. Etiology and pathophysiology of polycystic ovaries. The real cause of polycystic ovaries PCO is unknown. Most likely, there is some sort of familial inheritance of this condition, possibly autosomal dominant, with premature balding being the male phenotype. It appears during increased weight gain during puberty. However the polycystic ovary gene has not yet been identified, and the effect of environmental influences, such as weight changes and circulating hormone concentrations, and the age at which these occur, is unknown. Clinical presentation of polycystic ovaries. 1. Incidental finding. Regular cycles patient will be asymptomatic, no signs of metabolic and hormonal disturbances. Only ultrasound findings of PCO is diagnostic which are 10 or more cysts per ovary, 2 to 8 millimeters in diameter, surrounding an echodense stroma. 2. Weight gain. Obesity. Obesity is associated with high concentration of circulating leptin, which is a 167 amino acid peptide, and it is secreted by fat cells in response to insulin and glucocorticoids. Obesity worsens both symptomatology and the endocrine profile. Saw so obese women with a body mass index more than 30 kg per meter square should be encouraged to lose weight. Women with PCO have the greater frequency of hyperinsulinemia and insulin resistance. Obese women with PCO have hypersecretions of insulin, which stimulates ovarian secretion of androgens. 3. Menstrual disturbances. A. Primary or secondary amenorrhea. B. Irregular menstrual cycles. C. Oligomenorrhea. 4. Infertility. Excessive secretion of luteinizing hormone is particularly associated with menstrual disturbances and infertility. 5. Harsutism and 5. Hyperandrogenism. Symptoms of excessive androgen secretion include hirsutism, which is characterized by terminal hair growth in a male pattern of distribution, including chin, upper lip, chest, upper to lower back, abdomen, upper arm. Tie and buttocks. Evaluation of the degree of hirsutism should be done in a standardized way, using a scoring system, such as the modified Ferriman and Gawi score, before and during treatment. 6. Recurrent abortions. 7. Acne vulgaris. Laboratory tests and findings in polycystic ovaries cases. 1. Increased androgens, testosterone and androstenedion. 2. Increased LH. 3. Increased fasting insulin. 4. Increased prolactin. 5. Increased estradiol. Strony. 6. Decreased sex hormone binding globulin. Differential diagnosis of polycystic ovaries. 1. Acromegaly. 2. Hyperthyroidism. 3. Congenital adrenal hyperplasia. 4. Cushing syndrome. 5. Hyperprolactinemia. Ultrasound examination. The best method for diagnosing a polycystic ovaries PCO is ultrasound examination, and the vaginal ultrasound gives 100% detection rate, as compared to 30% failure to detect PCO by abdominal ultrasound. The characteristic finding is 10 smaller cysts measuring 2 to 8 millimeters in diameter, surrounding an echodense stroma. Treatment of polycystic ovaries. It is mostly symptomatic treatment that is according to the symptoms and the presentation of the disease. Obesity, weight reduction, metformin tablets, which inhibit the production of hepatic glucose and thereby decrease insulin secretion. A low-calorie diet is recommended for females with BMI more than 30 kg per meter squared or for patients with truncal obesity. Menstrual irregularity, the easiest way to control this problem is by using low dose combined oral contraceptive preparations. This will result in artificial, non-ovulatory cycles and regular shedding of the endometrium. An alternative is progesterone, such as medroxyprogesterone acetate or didrogesterone for five days, every one to three months to induce withdrawal bleeding. Infertility. Ovulation can be induced by antiestrogenes, clomiphene chitrate, 
5 to 100 milligrams, or tamoxifen 20 to 40 milligrams on days 2 through 6 of natural or induced bleeding. In resistant cases, we can use parenteral gonadotrophin therapy, with very careful continuous monitoring of the ovaries, or we can use laparoscopic diathermy. Hyperandrogenism and hirsutism treatment options include medical and cosmetic therapies. The aim is to stop further progression of hirsutism and decrease the hair growth rate, but the patient should know that it will take at least six to nine months before any benefit is perceived, and so physical treatment, including waxing, bleaching, electrolysis, and laser therapy, may be helpful during this time until medical treatment shows any benefit. Surgical treatment of polycystic ovaries PCO, wedge resection of the ovaries. This procedure resulted in extensive adhesions and ovarian tissue loss so it is replaced completely nowadays by laparoscopy. Laparoscopic ovarian diathermy. It is so effective with minimal damage to the ovaries. Only minimal damage to the ovary is required to stimulate ovulation. Possible late sequels of polycystic ovaries. 1. Diabetes mellitus. It was found that insulin resistance can be detected before the appearance of other clinical symptoms of PCO in some cases. Patients with only anovulation are checked for insulin resistance. Our current testing includes a 12-hour fasting followed by a 75 grams glucose challenge. Sugar solution commonly used to test for gestational diabetes in pregnancy. Blood level is drawn before the glucose is administered. Fasting and at one and two hours after the glucose ingestion, the blood is evaluated for insulin and glucose. Normally, the fasting blood level will demonstrate normal range glucose and a low insulin level. After a dose of sugar, the blood glucose level increases as well as an increase in secreted insulin. Abnormal values can indicate insulin resistance and may be diabetes in some patients. 2. Dyslipidemia. 3. Hypertension. 4 cardiovascular disease 5 endometrial carcinoma to learn more visit us www.lyuse.com